Brooklyn Independent Television. Well, folks, we saved the best for last. I know there's some noise behind me right now. There's a little construction project going on here at Pratt Institute. But joining me is the head coach of men's basketball here, Drew Allen. Coach, welcome. Thank you. How's it going? You, you in your Very first good. year, you just completed your first year yes. as a men's coach. How's that feel? Really good, really good. And I enjoyed also, it. It's a return to you back to Brooklyn. It's like coming back home. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Tell us about your career overall as far as oh, coaching. I, I started coaching probably in the boys' club but a long time ago. Sometimes God puts you places you don't know why you're there, right. but he has a purpose. And, mm -hmm. and I've been in coaching since. I was just going there really just to work out and train myself and ended up coaching some kids and I haven't left the business since. Good. This program, why Pratt? I mean, because Pratt, let, let's face it, right? Before last year, it wasn't a powerhouse as far as athletically. In terms of artistic design, it's a great school. But athletically, it really never had that sort of a uh, reputation. It gave me an opportunity to be a head coach. Mm -hmm. uh, the athletic director uh, told me the, pro the way they want to move the program and the direction they want to go and I thought it could be very good. And, mm -hmm. it, and it turned out to be a good experience, not only for me, but for the players. They had a good college basketball experience, I think. Right, and Ari Grant, let's talk about him. Uh, very good, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was lucky enough to have him walk through the doors and, and to coach him, does a very good job, bought into what we were doing and accepted his role, mm -hmm. and it became the leader's role. He became the leader. Uh, as far as how would you describe the season for you, especially your first season as a head coach? Because it was a learning experience for me and, and as well as for them. It was a good experience. I really enjoyed it. It gave me a chance to lead and the kids bought in to what I was doing and the things that I've learned over the years, working for different coaches. And I put it together and, and they bought into it and it was a really good season. Now at this level, you're not allowed to, you can, you can recruit but not scholarships, they're not giving out at We're not allowed to three. give kids scholarships. Right, athletic Absolutely. scholarships, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So how difficult is that when it comes to recruiting? It, it becomes difficult because actually Pratt is not only you got to have good grades, but you also got to have, be able to afford it to come to school here as well. Mm -hmm. And the majors that we have are very unique. Um, but there's kids out here who are interested in, in to come into good academic schools and this could be a good fit for them and they'll be able to play here. Hudson Valley Athletic Conference, your thoughts about the conference? You have St. Joe's in this conference? Yes, yeah, St. Joe's, Berkeley, Vaughn, Sarah Lawrence, good lead. Uh, there's some really good teams in here, uh, and it's a good lead for us to play. In. And I'm looking forward to competing and becoming better, better and better and better. Your, your toughest game so far last season, was it against St. Joe's? Or? St. Joe's and Berkeley, absolutely. Right. By, by far was our toughest competition. And they became 1-2 in our lead. Uh, they were the favorites. Uh, those coaches do a very good job. Mm -hmm. And you can tell they've been around a long time and have established their programs. In terms of your philosophy, what is your philosophy as a coach? In terms um, of offense, defense, and is there any particular? I adjust my offense and defense to the players I have. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I like to play a certain style. I like to get up and down the basketball court. I've been a part of programs that led the nation in scoring. Um, I've been a part of programs that have played very good defense and I've learned from a lot of different guys. Um, but I've also learned you have to adjust what you're going to do on the basketball court to the talent that you have. Mm -hmm. also, and that's what we was able to do here. And speaking of talent, also as far as off the court, Brooklyn has changed a lot since you returned here also, right? Oh, absolutely. And, and that, uh, that's going on a lot of different places. Yeah, mm -hmm. Neighborhoods are changing. Uh, but the recruiting places still haven't changed. They're still beating on the same bushes when it comes to recruiting. Right. Um, especially for next year, how's the things look for your team for next season? Uh, we're going to get better. Uh, we're implementing our weight training program, and, and we're going to do some off-season off training. Mm -hmm. and, and the guys that we have, everyone's coming back. So we're going to be a better team just with the guys we're coming back, and hopefully we're going to get a few extra guys in there to help these guys play. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. I appreciate it. Come on. And, Thank uh, you. I won't be a stranger. All right, good. We're going to be one All right. Okay. Well, that's a wrap up for us up here on In the Zone. I'm Michael Bellamy. Take care and have a safe week. Bye bye. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org/bit.